Hello everyone, it's Army Tricks from Game Tech, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Adobe After Effects intro or outro. This could work either way. So first of all, what you need to do is download an outro template like this, which I've got here. You can download these off Mediafire. Just search on YouTube for Adobe After Effects outros and intros and download from the link. The one I'm going to be using in this example is an outro made by ArcFX and this outro should work pretty well and it's compatible, make sure it's compatible with your version of After Effects. So once you've done that and you've downloaded the file, if it's in a zip, open the zip up, select all the icons in the zip and drag and drop them into a folder. Then open up the folder and follow the instructions to where you get to. So follow these instructions and once you've done that, you could follow these instructions or just look at what I do. If there's any fonts to be installed, install them by just double clicking them and clicking install. I've already installed this font. Now what you need to do is open up Adobe After Effects, Oops. like so, should launch pretty quickly. There we go. Once Adobe After Effects is open, you'll need to open the project that you downloaded. So go to wherever it is, should be on your desktop, outro, and open up your outro template. Click OK if anything pops up, that's fine. And just let it load up slowly. There we go. OK, once you've got your intro or outro ready and set up, just scroll over to check everything's working and fine that's good that is working that's great now what you'll want to do is save it so just click save to make sure nothing goes wrong and save it to whatever you want because if it's an older version you'll have to convert it like so and there we go once you've saved it you're pretty much done there now you need to render it so what you need to do to render it is click the whole thing like um, click this, which is your whole animation basically. That's animation part one and part two. So, what you want to do is click File, Export, Add to Render Queue. Your color changer here is just changes the color, whatever color you want it to be, because animation part two is just blue, which is fine really. I mean, if you want it to be. See, this is in blue. Blue is good for me because my channel is just blue colored. So I'm going to stick with blue and I'm going to click File, Export, Add to Render Queue. Don't click this, Add to Render Queue. Or you can just render this, which is the actual thing if they've already got one ready to render. If they don't, just click the one that applies to you and render it. This one I don't actually have to do that, which is good. So I can just delete this. There we go. I can render this. So select where you want to render it to. So I'm gonna, I think I'll just render it to, yeah, just where it is supposed to be. Um, I'll render it here. Rendered outro save make sure you have the best settings up and lossless rendering so you don't miss a frame or anything this will take longer but in the long run it's a lot better to do that then click your thing and hit render no arrows should pop up and it should start to slowly render the video will actually play in slow motion while skipping it won't skip a frame it'll just play really slowly so it'll look kind of weird but it will render fully, so just wait for it to render. It'll keep rendering what you want to do. So um, I'll be back once it's finished rendering. Okay, I'm back and it's finished rendering. Once it has finished, it should pop up with like this um, satisfying sound that should notify you that it's completely finished rendering. So once it's finished rendering, you might you'll want to minimize or close your um, project and then find where you saved it mine is saved right here. so you'll notice that it is quite a big file normally this is 711 megs that's really big um, and I'm gonna show you how to make that smaller right now just play it 
it should be a bit laggy technically if it's not fully rendered well it is fully rendered but it's such a big file and it's bulky that it's not gonna look that not good so once you've watched it over if you want to just to make sure that everything's fine just close it and now open up Adobe Premiere Pro or any video editing software that you have such as Live Movie Maker etc open it up um, that should happen fairly quickly okay once it's loaded open up a new project and name it whatever you want you won't really need to save this because all you need to do is render it um, so once you've done that it should open up I'm using Creative Cloud so it might look a little different but there's no big difference really there we go okay once it's loaded if it has loaded onto file import and find your file wherever it is your AVI it should be an AVI technically unless you're on Mac it's something else I don't know what it's called now drag and drop it here and it will automatically create a sequence if you're on the latest version of Creative Cloud I'm not sure about CS6 I think it does the same thing on that let it load up and there we go it's loaded give it a quick play should look fine all this does is it'll make it a smaller file by rendering it uh, so now you want to click file export or before you export it you may want to add some music to it if there's no music already so here's the music we want what you want to do is import and import the music in and add it here if you've done that you should play it over again and should play with the music there we go so now click file export media uh, once the menu comes up which it should there we go make sure it's as a H.264 format this is the best format maintains the highest quality and match source high bitrate make sure that's ticked and use maximum render quality make sure that's also ticked then find a place to export it to I'm just gonna name it outro because I have a massive intro one as well and now all you need to do is hit export now it should export very quickly because it's such a short clip something like um, less than 10 seconds, 9 seconds actually, yeah, 9 seconds. So that's exported and you're done. You can close this, you don't have to save it. Now open up where you saved it and it should be that. There we go. Open it up, have a look, watch it, see if it works well. There we go. That's it guys, that's it. All you have to do if you want to add this to a video is just clip it onto the end when you're editing it. Done. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.